This is a story of Little Chipmunk Girl. A long time ago, Little Chipmunk Girl lived with her grandmother. She lived with her grandma. And one day, Little Chipmunk Girl decided to help her grandma by doing the thing she liked to do the most anyway, and that was to pick berries. Little Chipmunk Girl got ready to go. She tied a little belt to her waist, and on that belt was a little berry basket. The Klallam word for that is mahoit, the little berry basket to go picking berries with. And she went running out into the woods, following the trails, looking for the best berry bushes. And finally, deep in the woods, she found a beautiful big huckleberry bush. And way at the top, she saw the biggest, juiciest, sweetest huckleberries. And she climbed all the way to the top of that bush, and she started picking berries. And if you've been picking berries, you know how it goes. One for the basket, one for me, one for the basket, two for me, one for the basket, three for me. She was eating more than she was picking. She looked in her little mahoit, and there were only a few little berries rolling around in there. She said, I better pick faster because it's getting dark. She picked faster, one for the basket, one for me, one for the basket, two for me, one for the basket, three for me. And she looked in her little basket and there were only a few little berries. She said, it's getting dark, and I better get home or else... She heard something. Something was coming through the woods. Something was coming down the trail. Little chipmunk girl leaned over the leaves, and she peeked down the trail, and sure enough, someone was coming down the trail. Old Owl Woman was coming down the trail. She was looking from side to side, into the bushes, into the grass. She was wearing a basket on her waist, too, but it wasn't for berries. It was for children, little children that were out in the woods after dark. She was looking for them. That was her dinner, and she was looking carefully for any little lost ones. Little chipmunk girl was frightened, and she hid behind the leaves, and she tried to be as still as she could, hoping old Owl Woman would pass by her, but, you know, chipmunks can't be very still. Well, old Owl Woman walked down the trail, and she stopped right in front of that huckleberry bush. And old Owl Woman reached into her basket, and by its tail she lifted out a poor little mouse child. Old Owl Woman was going to eat her dinner. She leaned her head back and opened her mouth wide, (gasps) When she saw, way up in that huckleberry bush, the leaves were shaking. So she put back that little mouse child and she said, Who is up there? Little chipmunk girl said, Nobody. Old owl woman said, I know someone is up there. Who is up there? Little chipmunk girl said, Nobody. Old owl woman said, I know someone is up there. Show me your face. Don't make me come up there. Little chipmunk girl leaned her face over the leaves, and she said, It's just me, little chipmunk girl, and I know who you are. You're old owl woman. You hurt children. Go away and leave me alone. Old owl woman said, Oh, little girl, you don't have to be afraid of me. Those stories your parents tell you about me, they're not true. I really like little children. And do you know what, little chipmunk girl? I was walking by your house just a few minutes ago, and I heard your mother calling you. Your mother wants you to come home right now. You better climb down that bush and go home, little girl. Little chipmunk girl said, My mother died a year ago, so I don't see how she could be calling me. Old Owl Woman said, Oh, I mean, I mean your father. Your father is calling you, little girl. Climb down that bush and go home to your father. Little Chipmunk Girl said, 
My father died when I was a baby, so I don't see how he could be calling me. Old Owl Woman was getting upset. Little girl, your uncle is calling you. Go home right now to your uncle. Little Chipmunk Girl said, I don't have any uncle, so, so I don't see how he could be calling me. Now Old Owl Woman was very angry. Little girl, your grandma is calling you. Climb down that bush right now and go home to your grandma. Well, Little Chipmunk Girl did live with her grandma, and maybe her grandma was calling her, and maybe she better go home right now, but she didn't trust Old Owl Woman. She said, I don't trust you. You, you cover up your eyes so, so you can't see me. Old Owl Woman said, Oh, a very smart little girl. Okay, I'll cover my eyes. She put her feathers up to her face, but her eyes were still visible between the feathers. She said, Now you can climb down that bush and go home, little girl. Little Chipmunk Girl said, I can still see your eyes. You're lying. Cover them better. Old Owl Woman said, Such a smart little girl. I can hardly wait. She covered her eyes, but she could still see between her feathers. And Little Chipmunk Girl decided that she would not trust Old Owl Woman. She knew that if she climbed down the bush and tried to run by her, Old Owl Woman, with her big sharp claws, could grab her. So Little Chipmunk Girl decided that she would jump as high as she could over Old Owl Woman. And so that's what she did. She took a big running start and she jumped as far as she could over Old Owl Woman. But Old Owl Woman saw this, and she dropped her feathers and started to flap her wings very powerfully, and she started to fly right towards Little Chipmunk Girl. She flapped her wings, and she got closer and closer, and as she got closer to Little Chipmunk Girl, she put out her big sharp owl claws, and she got closer and closer. But Little Chipmunk Girl had jumped high enough and far enough that all Old Owl Woman could do was run her claws down the back of Little Chipmunk Girl. Little Chipmunk Girl landed on the ground and she ran all the way home where her grandma protected her. And the proof of this story is, if you've ever seen a chipmunk, you've seen five white stripes on its back. Those are the marks from when Old Owl Woman almost caught Little Chipmunk Girl in the huckleberry patch. And that is all.